So basically, one thing I noticed as well, everyone wants to live until they're 100. Now, obviously, forget about the specific number in it. What everyone wants to live until they're 100 really means is everyone wants to live for a very long time and that, obviously, but people don't understand the health implications that come with living until you're maybe 100. And I think it's because a lot of people are scared of death. Me, I ain't afraid of death. I don't want to go out and get my brain blown up, but man ain't afraid of death. A lot of people want to live until they're very old and that. Man, I even spoke about this in the live stream before, innit? People were saying, yeah, they want to live to their 90 years old and 100. No, you don't. No, you don't. See, you know, the people that want to live to their 100 and that, they don't know a lot of people that live to that age or even get to like 80 or whatever, innit? They might just know their grandma or whatever, and if you're still quite healthy or whatever, innit? I think that, that's how all old people are. No, 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 no. Trust me. Man, work in people's yards, innit? And I'll go to some of these old people's yards, they're like 80 years old, 75, and their health is so bad. You know, before they even start their day, they got that this cupboard, it's coming like a fucking pharmacy. They have to literally take 20 pills before they get their day started. You don't want to be like that. You don't even want to be at a point in your life where you can't even run for a bus no more. How, if there is danger, how are you going to get yourself out of danger? Or are you just going to walk down the road with your fingers crossed, hoping that you're, you're free from danger your whole life. Nah, 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 nah. You don't want to have no bad health implications, yeah? And once you start hitting certain ages, you're on a decline, a massive decline. Fucking vertical drop, blood. Yeah? Everyone wants to live for, forever and like, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't. Once you get to a certain age, so some people, not all, some people, a percentage of people, they get dementia. Do you know what dementia is, blood? Bam. You almost turn into, well, some people get it really bad. And you kind of turn into, a, some people turn into a maniac. You become violent. You will attack people for no reason. These are old people in that. Dementia is a serious thing where you can look in the mirror. It's how you know dementia is fucked. You can look in the mirror and not recognize yourself no more. You could be in your own house. I've been to someone's house before. They have dementia and they're telling their husband, come on, let's go. I want to go home. They've been in the house the whole day. They haven't left their house. They're in their own yard. They're in their own living room that they've lived in for years. They have not left the house that day. And they're telling their husband, come on, I want to go home now. I've been here for too long. That's dementia, you know. You don't want dementia, blood. But when you live to certain ages, you will get dementia. You could possibly get dementia in it. Trust me, you don't want that. You're a problem to yourself. You're a problem to your, your family. You become such a problem, they want to put you in their care home because you're just too much of an issue to deal with. They have to put deadlocks on the front door because you will try and escape from your own house. Out onto the street. You will think you're going home. You don't even know where the fuck you're going. Dementia is mad. There was one program before called The House Where Nobody Knows Anything. And basically, all these people in this house, they had dementia, but they were young. Too young to have dementia. Like they were aged between 40 and 50. And what they did was they pulled a couple people away from everyone else and gave them a little interview, let's say out in the street or in a different room. So one woman was pulled out and she's and they said, oh yeah, so uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, I'm an accountant and that. What area do you live in? Oh, I live in Bournemouth, born and bred. Oh, what's your name again? Do you know what? I don't even know my name. Yeah, that, that that's dementia, you know. So basically all these people in this house had dementia, but they were young, age 40 to 50. And, uh, and yeah, the woman couldn't even remember her name. You know? Can you not remember your name? Yeah. These are the health implications that come with wanting to live to the 100. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to live to them ages there. Wake up in the morning, you're popping 20 pills, blood, in the morning just to get your day going. You have this thing called a fool. You fall over and you break your hip and that. Uh, you two years old or whatever, and even a two-year-old will fall over and get straight back up. They might cry. You're a big 70, 60-year-old person. You fall over and you break your hip and that. You're getting too old. You don't want to live to them mad ages and that. 
But a lot of people might just see their grandma or whatever. And, oh, yeah, they're eight years old and they, they, they had a decent life on there. Whatever in it. Nah, that's just that one eight year old. What about all the others that are bed bound? You, know, you don't see them because they're bed bound. You know? My mum, she works in a care home and that. And there's people, they're 70, eight years old, they mash up. They mash up, just de deteriorate over time. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to get to them ages there. You know, human beings were living too long as well. You know, back in the day, man used to die at 30 years old. You know, imagine. Imagine getting, to, yeah, you're dying at 30 years old. That's what used to happen to a man back in the day, you know. Like we was in the plains of Africa and, yeah, but obviously with diets getting better and that, people are living longer. Cancer and all them things has always existed, but people never used to die of cancer. Do you know why? Because man will be dead before cancer can even develop. And that. Yeah. 